All right, guys, welcome back to another little video I wanted to do. I wanted to, I mean, this obviously won't be the first one, but I wanted to do another little series. Uh, if you go over my shop um, at pocketprolocker.com, you can see that there are probably some things available like uh, decal sheets. And you see one or two of those, and you're thinking, well, uh, David or, or anybody else doesn't quite make what I want, so I might as well make what I want. So, And this is an easy way to do it. Uh, I provide my own personal decal sheets that I use. Um, things like, uh, I got some right here, things like the uh, independent, um, I'm not quite sure at the time of this video what I'm going to put up yet, but um, there are some things that you'll be able to see, maybe one or two at first, and then we'll see how it goes, and then we'll uh, kind of go from there uh, as, to, as to what's popular, if this is something that people do enjoy, this is something that I can continue to provide for people in any way uh, that I can. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because... Uh, well, one, it's quite the demand for doing this. Um, there's a, just a couple of people, there's a handful of people that do this really, really well. Um, a couple of people that do it uh, for their own personal, which is fine. I mean, I do it as well. I, I've got uh, 3D printed ones coming for myself at the moment. Um, kind of hooking some other different people up with, with different ones that they want. There's a white one. This is Speedflex, and then I always, as, of course, I have access to a lot of different ones. So uh, there's an F7 to be coming on uh, into my collection so um yeah quite the demand again I, there's some custom things that that i do that some people don't want and there's some custom things that you guys want that i just can't do like some camo stuff i i, I won't do it <laughs> um i like to keep mine as realistic as as i possibly can obviously with the the 3d print and everything you can probably hear it humming in the background um so yeah what today's going to be about is how to get this, these logos, uh, these decals, this paint is what basically this is from the factory shell off so that it's completely blank and you can turn it into whatever you want. Um, first thing you gotta have, I mean, what I usually do is I take maybe five or six a day for each order maybe, uh, depending on what I've got going on. And I, and I set them aside, ready to be stripped and everything. Um, do not paint if you do not have to. Uh, black, white is very valuable, obviously. Um, a lot of other different things are valuable. Uh, reds is something that I come across a lot. But if you do have to paint, you be, be sure that when you when you get something, and um, you'll figure out very quickly, and I'll, I'll kind of go through this, what works and what doesn't. Um, when, you, uh, when you're going to paint something, take the padding out. And you'll, the way you'll do that is you'll get a, a, basically a tub here of hot water, and you'll let it soak overnight, and then you'll, you'll pull it out, and it just comes right out, but um, you might have to work on the ends here a little bit because it does float like this above water, uh, or at least the top here floats above water. So make sure you do that. I'm, there are a lot of people that don't, and I think it looks bad, um, personally. I, I take out the padding, and you can probably see in the corner here that this is some of the padding that I've done. I've got a couple orders over here of oranges and, and golds that need to be painted into their respective colors. Um, I'll go through paint here in a little bit, but be sure to do that first and foremost if you do have to paint. Uh, if you want questions on, on how to do that, I will probably answer all them later. I do want to cover painting and things like that. Um, maybe in another video, maybe in this video, we'll see how this goes, but this is going to be about taking factory stuff off of factory helmets, not any of the painting stuff. So, um, first thing you'll do, obviously, I remove the mask, first and foremost, if I can, or I look stupid on camera, there we go. I do want to keep this black mask, this is going to be a Coastal Carolina, eventually, um, so I'll keep that off to the side. I, I do have, I do keep like, I have like three bags of just face masks and stuff. Some that I have painted in the past that I need to soak in alcohol and, and, and get off, but um, mostly just stuff that I can use to, to paint or stuff that can be done separate. Next, you're gonna need a small bowl like that. And you can tell uh, with the decal sheets, uh, I have a supply list that you'll need. Um, it is a kind of a lengthy supply list, but the first thing you're gonna need is a 91% alcohol. That's the first and foremost thing that you will need. And you only need a little bit. You don't need to pour a whole lot. Uh, I am recording this kind of during quarantine, not really quarantine, but we still got COVID going on. I mean, you guys can tell by the, uh, the, the, the uploading date. Um, 
So 91% alcohol is very few and far between to find. There's a lot of 70% returning to the shelves, which is really nice. Um, but for the most part, you might have to go to Amazon. And I've got a leader coming. And I ordered that maybe two, three weeks ago. And it's still not going to be here for another two, three weeks. So keep that in mind. Uh, you pour a little bit in, in one of these, one that the paint can't come off because that's what this will do. I mean, it's it's a dangerous liquid. So um, you'll take a, a paper towel, you'll dab it a little bit. You'll take your helmet, your shell, press it to where you want to go, and you rub. These are not stickers like some people refer to them as. These This is paint uh, on the... Uh, a regular football helmet is called a decal. Here, I'll, I'll stop shaking the camera. Probably giving somebody some stress by doing that. And it just comes right off like that. You might have to rub harder for some than you will for others. Uh, I know a lot of the NFL helmets, you might have to really work at it. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's a difference of factory. Maybe it's a difference in, in the paint that they use or the layered paint that they use. Um, I, I take a lot of Atlanta Falcons and... I find that some that are a little bit older, you can see the manufacturing dates up in there, kind of. Yeah. Uh, some of them, some of like the Falcons and Cardinals that are a little bit older, uh, they're much easier to get off than the ones that were made last November. So, and I haven't even tried the 2020 stuff yet. I know a lot of people have, might have, and they could probably speak better than that than I can. Um, but that's just what I, what I do. Normally I do not rub like this. I just kind of put it in my lap and go as hard as I can. And it comes right off. Like that. Okay, I'm going to dab it again just to get some of this residue off. And you might have to. You'll, you'll kind of get a feel for it. You'll be like, oh, this one comes off great. This one doesn't. Um, you'll learn. If you still, if like you're done with this, like I am here, this is a blank black shell that'll become Coastal Carolina, as I said. Um, if you are done with this and you still see, like if, again, good examples of Falcons, if you see the Falcons logo a little bit like an outline, you wouldn't be able to see it on a camera. But if you, if you take it and you look at it really close and you say, hey, that's still kind of on there, again, on the uh, supply list, you'll see Brazo or Brazo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what you'll do... Firstly, you have to shake it. And then uh, it's going to stink like holy hell, so you just got to be ready. And dab it on there. That's a lot. I'm just doing this for the sake of, of the video. Um, and then you just kind of rub off. It's like a polishing thing. Sometimes more... Uh, some people use it, some people don't. I like to use it. <laughs> Blow some of the excess out. So it's not sticking around in there. So, there you go. And that's your blank shell. And uh, I will do another video here coming up on, I don't know if it's, it's probably going to be just a continuation of this, but um, another video on applying decals. Of course, I still have alcohol left over. I'll probably just do these while I'm sitting here. But um, I guess I will go over paint. Uh, so for different things, like, I don't use orange a whole lot. Um, uh, any of the orange that I do use, I have a specific orange paint that I use, um, because this doesn't fit with, like, a Bowling Green or, or anything else that I, or an LA Wildcats XFL that I use, uh, for the, uh, the mask at least. So, um, I paint these. I, I personally paint orange like this, and then when... You guys, I mean, if somebody could have clicked off the video now, and those of you that are still sticking around, good for you, because this is going to get messy. This right here is going to come off. It's going to not keep the consistent blue. You can kind of tell in the camera. Where's the camera? There it is. That this paint is a little bit different than the gloss that you get from the black. So uh, when you try to get this decal off, you're taking the entire blue off. You're like, this is, oh, this is a good blue it comes right off and it'll turn black if you rub too hard or white. So uh, I just paint these whatever I need. The painting products that I use, like if I wanted to, to keep this blue somewhat consistent, I use Tester's Extreme Lacquer for stuff like this. 
And then again, you can kind of experiment around uh, with what you need. Uh, I do use Duplicolor uh, car automotive paint uh, for, for different stuff. Um, I believe this, this is going to be my Indiana. This Indiana, quote unquote, uh, is car paint. This white, I might turn into a Chargers or anybody else in the Big Ten, is car paint. And then, I might not want to show this on camera. That looks really, really bad. I'm going to have to sand that down. Um, different colors, like gold and things like that, are, are painted. Uh, hit it with a primer first. Um, I use, uh, what is it, where is it at? There it is. Miracle Brand from the Dollar Store. From Dollar General or Dollar, yeah, Dollar General, I believe. And I use this. Uh, nobody take it all at once, please, because sometimes they do run out of stock pretty frequently of that. And then I hit it with a combo of sanding and, and um, different layers. So that's how you do that. It's the first video that we've got going on. I will have different videos on how to apply your decals as well as now that you've printed your decal sheets exactly how do you treat it because it's not as simple as printing and going so thanks again guys and we will see you in the next video